This video will have a look at an example of how do we calculate Pythagoras within a 3D shape. So the example asks us to calculate the length of WQ to two decimal places. So we're going to start it off by marking in the side we're looking for, which is WQ. To be able to calculate that length from W to Q, we're going to need to form a right angle triangle. And we do that by going W to S then S back to Q. And that there is our right angle triangle that we can use to calculate our WQ side. So off to the side, I'm going to draw that triangle, marking in the letters. So I've got W, I've got S, and I've got Q. My unknown side is WQ, so I'm going to mark that as an X. I know that WS, because it forms one of the actual sides of the rectangular prism, that is going to be equal to 5. And SQ, which doesn't form an actual side, is an unknown at this point. So I'm going to call it Y. So now, before I can go ahead and calculate my unknown X value, I need to be able to calculate an unknown Y value. So going back to the rectangular prism, I can form another triangle, another right angle triangle involving XQ down the bottom. So off to the side again, I'm going to draw that triangle. And it's going to be S, P, and Q. Now, S, Q has already been named Y, so I'm going to keep calling it Y. And then S, P forms one of the sides of the rectangular prisms. So I know that is going to be 7. And then P, Q, I know is 9. So now that I've got one unknown side and two known sides, I can go ahead and use Pythagoras to find out my value of Y. So starting off with the formula, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Substituting in my values, y squared is going to equal to 7 squared plus 9 squared. So y is going to equal to the square root of 7 squared plus 9 squared. So y is going to equal to 11.4. Now that I have a value of y, I can go back to my original triangle and I can put that in. So my SQ side is going to be 11.4. Now I've got two known sides, I can go ahead and calculate X. So starting off with the formula, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Then I've got my substitution. So X squared is going to equal to 5 squared plus 11.4 squared. So X will equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 11.4 squared. So x will equal to 12.45 meters. So now that I've found my original unknown value, I know that the side WQ is going to equal to 12.45 meters. So that's an example of how we can use Pythagoras within a 3D shape to find an unknown length.